or one o'clock. Welcome to Power Lunch and Power 987. I was a little bit out of breath. Now I've settled. Uh, so, so welcome to the show. I'm very excited to be in your company this afternoon, particularly excited about our first conversation. John says that that was the perfect song to kickstart the week, right? Very You cool were enjoying your song thing. Right? It's the soil. Modernized. Yeah, it's beautiful. Got a slight song. reggae touch to it. I think. Yeah, it's cool. Beautiful. So I think yeah. uh, we've managed to get a fan for the soil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is great. All right, so we are talking now about unlocking your creative brain and what is it that you will find. So something that John Foster Pedley, who's the dean and director of Henley Business School, is quite passionate about. Let me welcome you first of all. I didn't do that. Welcome to Power Lunch. Welcome to Powerhouse. How are you today? Thanks, Apple. I'm great. Very excited to be here. Such a cool studio. Eh? Thank you. You watch everyone in the traffic. Oh, yes. We, lo- we have a, a yeah. fat laugh at people who are sitting in traffic. <laughs> it's something that we do. So, so maybe let's jump straight into it and, and really talk about why nurturing creativity can be essential to the survival of, of your, your work, uh, career, and, and also particularly for those who are in business. It's such an interesting thing that we end up talking about creativity as, as if we have to scrabble for it. And mm. it's, it's somehow weird and strange and all to do with these punk, pink-haired, pierced radicals <laughs> sitting in the corner of an yeah. advertising agency. Hippies. And yet we were born with creativity. Absolutely. What happened to it? Why, why have we lost it? Yeah. So we need it because it is the base of everything that's to do with inventing new ideas, new new value. Mm-hmm. And imagine raising a family without creativity. Yeah. I mean, how boring would that be? Yeah. So creativity is our birthright. Mm. And what we need to do is recover it so we can do better things for people through business. Yeah. So, so take us through exactly what it is that we mean then if we're talking about the world of business and making sure that we tap into our creative brain well we've all been into a service operation you walk in there and nobody's looking at you and uh, you're being ignored and you think what's going on here and you go yeah. into another place and that everyone's vibey and thinking and you just get a totally different experience mm-hmm. so what happens when you're creative in business it's not just your thinking of wild ideas but you're engaged you're present when your creative brains working you're in flow you're, you're there you're thinking of new ideas yeah. new ideas are coming together and there's a whole sense of excitement and energy when you're doing that sort of thing mm-hmm. and we need that in business because yeah. business is two things on one side it's about productivity and getting things done in efficient ways and you know, having organization and system. And the other side of it's about innovation. Yeah. Because everything's changing. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we were so good at solving problems, we wouldn't have half the problems we face around That's here. true. And our past ways of thinking have created those problems. So mm-hmm. we need new ways of thinking, new ways of acting in order to solve those big, those, those big problems that our kids are, are facing now. Yeah. So creativity is a natural inborn capability we have that I hate to say it, but tends to get educated out of us. Mm. What is that? Mm-hmm. And, and maybe talk a little bit more about that. Educated out of us. Exactly. What do you mean by that? Well, you send your kids to school, you know. Mm. And, the art teacher says, do this painting, paint between the lines. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm quite a good friend with John Flissimus, a very good friend with John Flissimus, who I've got great, great admiration for, and he's a very bright guy. And I remember him saying one day, you know, when you've got a kid, and a kid drops a plate on the floor, everyone says, what a, what a terrible kid, you're, you're destructive. But the kid's looking at this thing on the floor and saying, wow, look at that. Yeah. The, crea- the kid has created a new form of order. Mm. The kid doesn't understand that yeah. that's destructive. Yeah. And I think what happens is that during schooling, we start to try and conform. I mean, it's classic. You know, you'll be more likely to be sent home from school for not wearing a uniform than for doing bad work. Mm. How, how, mm. What is that about? Mm. So we start telling our kids to conform, be productive, you know, be, be a good cog in the machine early on. Whereas what the future needs is something quite different. We need yeah. our kids and ourselves to grow and be imaginative, to not take for granted those assumptions that we're facing but think of new ideas so yeah. what that does for business is we produce new forms of value mm. you, know, you see companies like uber you see many other companies developing new business models and those business models are more effective they give more value to people mm. and they make more money for everybody and they free you and i up yeah we don't have to actually own a car anymore mm. if, if, it, was, if mm. it was efficient mm. so what creativity does is allow us to develop new forms of business models yeah new businesses that actually do good in the community and good for society so maybe let's talk now about uh, the mba program that that uh, you know nurtures this kind of spirits that that sort of encourages one to think more broadly to to color outside the lines mm. and you know, to be, uh, you know, get out of that, that thing that you've been programmed to do that's very restrictive and that's probably hindering your growth. So let's talk about that. 
Well, MBA programs are, are well known and people think MBA programs are terribly serious things. And, and of course they are in certain yeah. ways. But the thing that's so interesting is that we're all craving to be part of a creative, innovative process. It mm -hmm. gives us energy, excuse me. <clears throat> and what that does is help an MBA program be more than just being productive, but allow you to be innovative as well. So yeah. our MBA program at Henley is a flexible MBA. We also have a part of it which is a family-friendly MBA, so we try and reduce the impact on families of studying. Mm -hmm. We have special sessions for the families. But um, we've created an add-on to our classic MBA, which is the MBA for creative activists and innovators. Mm. So whether you're in creative industries or in smokestack industries or mining or whatever, yeah. we're all going to bring people together to sort of answer the question, how do we bring more of ourselves to work? Mm. How do we bring more of our imagination to work? Yeah. Must I bring this button-down suited individual or whatever it is to work mm. and that's me and mm. pretend that I'm not these other talents? Yeah. Or can I bring the whole of me to work and be expressive and imaginative and come up with new ideas? Yeah. And so the MBA Plus, which is what we call the MBA for creative activists and innovators, tries to bring business acumen to creatives and creative acumen to business. Wow. And imagine if that went. So we're trying to bring together creatives and business people in this add-on to the bit onto the MBA. So yeah. you've got this different environment. So everybody's learning from each other. Mm. So it's it's a kind of dynamic environment where um, we're sharing ideas, yeah. working on projects, yeah. working on real life things at the yeah. same time. And at the end of that, you're going to be better being creative. Mm. And you're also, if you're a creative. You're going to make more money out of your radio station, aren't you? Which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, listening to everything that you're saying, it almost even suggests that we're challenging how, you know, workspaces operate currently. And we're saying, hey, maybe try and explore this way of thinking or this way of doing things in order for you to reach the kind of success that you want. Am I getting you correctly? Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. In fact, um, it's curious when we think where work is because we always think of these cubicles or work in a factory environment mm. or a classic office but actually when you look around you you're seeing people working in all sorts of environments we're working yeah. on our cell phones you know 24 7 practically mm -hmm. we're working in cafes we're working in bars we're working over dinner parties we're working yeah. on the sports fields engaging so the boundaries of work are spread Mm. So what's starting to happen is that we need the tools to help us work in a much more flexible way. And to do that, you've got to be creative about what work is. Yeah. Second thing is, if you want to add more to work, I talked about how much of me, how much of me is welcome at work. You've got to bring the whole of you to work. Mm. If you're asking people to be creative, they're going to be imaginative. They're going to be iconoclastic. Yeah. They're going to break the rules. And yeah. you've got to be ready for that. Yeah. And they're going to make mistakes. Mm. And so you've got to be ready to develop them with the skill to fail fast forwards. Mm. And what you want them to do is lots of earliest ma early mistakes, not late mistakes. Mm. I mean, I was a pilot before, and pilots unfortunately make mistakes. But because they're very well trained, they make very, very small mistakes, and they catch them very, very early. Yeah. Same as surgeons do, but you mm. probably don't want to know those two stories. Um, yeah, yeah, that makes me a little nervous. So what happens is, that, <laughs> what happens is you end up with people learning fast, but yeah. also with the capability of trying new things at a high rate of knots mm -hmm. so that you can come up with new ideas in business. Yeah. And also the other sense that I'm getting is that there's also the undoing, perhaps, of the perception around an MBA being just for people who are in commerce, people who are in engineering and all of that. Uh, it's something that you're challenging as well. Just think of our future. You know, how much of it's going to be mining? How much of it's going to be service industries? How mm -hmm. much is it going to be the creative industries? You know, a mixture of, of web-based organizations, digital skills, um, putting together unusual combinations of, of uh, consultancies and industries and whatever. Mm -hmm. And when you're starting to look at this breakdown of traditional boundaries, you've got to think, break down the MBA too. The yeah. MBA was this very kind of classic Harvard-like thing. Mm. The Henley MBA is sure it's one of the top one percent in the world, but what we what we do we're based on really foundation of respect and care for individuals. We respect people who come to learn. It's an adult learning environment. Mm -hmm. We cannot change the standards. So if you come and do an MBA or any of our courses, you're going to do a top one percent in the world standard. But our job is to get you to pass. Mm. So we're supportive. It's adult education. We're yeah. trying to build it up. So the MBA changes tone. It's not about you having to prove yourself. We like people to come in not knowing everything. Yeah. It's a dynamic forward learning environment. Mm. And after a while, you start finding how fascinating it is when your brain is working so well. Mm. Think, I, I never knew I could do that. Yeah. And, that's, and then you find you can do something else mm -hmm. and then something else. Mm -hmm. And before long, you 
captivated by this process of learning. You can't let it go. And you're discovering these new talents in yourself. And imagine right. a class full of people doing that of mm. all backgrounds, all ethnicities. And you, you start to find the real basis for talent and competitiveness in South Africa is, is locked in our, in our minds and mm. in our creativity. Something else that you said earlier as well is that uh, the program is also family friendly. I don't mm. think that's something that we hear a lot when it comes to MBA programs. A lot of people will say that relationships fall apart, marriages fall apart, the family setup just really crumbles because of the immense pressure. But now here you're saying family friendly, how does that work? Well, they used to call it the Marriage Breakup Academy, <laughs> yes. didn't they? I mean, it, it doesn't have to be the Making Babies Academy either. It's somewhere in between. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I mean, how stupid is that? Mm. That educators create programs that damage families and damage children. Mm. I mean, looking, talking as an educator, how irresponsible of me would that be to create programs that do that? Yeah. And surely we're smart, we're smart enough to create programs that actually don't. Mm. And so we've experimented in trying to create a program that assimilates family early we have a full day where families come in we teach them deep listening skills resilience skills we create a community of the partners we take people who've done mbas and they share the experiences they had of how they brought their family together we teach them how to avoid family problems oh, wonderful. and then we have a series of programs throughout the year like on resilient parenting on positive parenting on mm -hmm. tech savvy parenting or project management or just personal skills and um, and all the um students and their spouses and partners can come to those things and, they, and we have special uh, stuff for the kids we have bouncing castles Lovely. and films so they can watch it and so what we are determined to do is create an environment which is an experience for families not against families mm. I mean, we all know that learning is for family in, in the long run yeah why does it have to damage in the short term mm. so we're trying to create this environment where people are reflective and are conscious of their families so that we can make these families be healthy and well and with a, quite a good degree of success really mm -hmm. There's a number of people have said the MBA properly approached and we also have a flexible MBA so it, it lasts over two and a half years anyway okay. but properly approached can be something which bonds families bring them together around mm -hmm. a common purpose mm -hmm. and you'd be surprised how many of the partners we're 42% women. How many of the partners, anyway, come and do the MBA afterwards themselves? Oh, wow. yeah, so it's good marketing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're a business school. We're not yeah. stupid. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Talking about unlocking your creative brain with uh, this new MBA program that uh, is for creative activists and innovators. Please tell us more about uh, where people can get for further information. Well, go to our website. That's uh, Henley Business School in Africa. So it's uh, www.henley sa.ac.za so it's h-e-n-l-e-y-s-a dot a-c dot z-a or phone up one of our really talented um, you know customer advisors we've got people who've been there 17 20 years Wonderful. whose only purpose is to help people succeed in mbas and come and talk to us and and we'll be fair we, we're not a hard sales organization if you're going to do something like an mba or something that takes such investment we want people to feel that they want to do that yeah. and it feels right and my advice for anyone doing an mba is look around you've got some great schools in in south africa and elsewhere look around and but go to the place that feels right for you mm. where you feel you're respected where mm. you feel you can belong and check it out um because our only joy is seeing people succeed yeah we don't want to fail anyone we can't change the standard we do anything we can <laughs> to get you through yeah. without changing any standards or bending any rules mm -hmm. so you know that when you complete at henley you've got an international mba in fact we're we're about 70 percent black africans 42 women 42 percent women now and they're doing exams that are peer assessed in Europe at the same time, blind assessed at the same time with the UK, the French, mm. the Chinese, Malaysian students. And the South Africans are passing better than them. Can wow. We have Shine talent in this South Africa. We've got talent. <laughs> and that's part of being creative. You've yeah. got the creativity is about being courageous. You can't mm. just sit there waiting for it to happen. You don't know the future in creativity. Yeah, absolutely. So grab it and try and you'll be blown away by what you can do. John Foster Pedley, Dean and Director of Henley Business School. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.